Yeah, man. Well, you know, I think uh, I was I was also checking out your SoundCloud, and do you produce all the songs? I do. Yeah, I use that. Yeah. Well. Okay, so do I. Fantastic. So there you go. Well, you're, okay, really though, but you, you're. I was thinking he must use your stuff. Sounds so good. Your, it sounds so legit and pro. And Thank like, you. It's really like I feel like my stuff sounds like oh, it's bedroom pop. It sounds like he recorded it. Your stuff sounds like you have a producer and someone who mastered it. It sounds really good. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of work. It's been day in and day out, just hours and hours, just practicing the crafts. I mean, to be entirely honest, my shit sucked the first year, two years. It didn't like it didn't suck, yeah. but it's I wasn't happy with it. Uh, I knew it could be a lot better. And kind of going back to what we were saying, where if you just stick it out, yes. you just stick it out and stick with it. I, I know it's sometimes hard for people to hear me this say this, but it does get better. If yeah. you actually care and you have the consistency, things do start to turn around. And so, yeah, do you have something to say? Well, no, I think there's something too also about embracing education, like not being um, intimidated by like, like, you know, like I use a software called Premiere, Adobe Premiere, or like After Effects and stuff. And there's, there's yeah. so much to learn. Or like even in, in what we do with Ableton, it's just like, sometimes it can be intimidating when you feel like, man, you'll hear, you're, you'll hear a recording that you really love and you'll think, man, I'll never be able to do that. But you actually could. I mean, you could, you could take a day and learn how to side chain and how to like do all yeah. these little producing tricks that you yourself love. And, and you just have to like not, not be lazy and not be afraid, I think. Yeah. Actually, I was just talking to my dad about that same topic. Right now, he's going for his PhD in uh, nutrition. And I was asking him some questions as to how things are going. You know, if he was expecting the type of work that he's receiving, if he's already been prepared for it. And he said, you know, at the end of the day, still learn a lot of things. But when you have the mentality of always being a student, right? Um, it's almost just like you are ready to show up no matter how hard it's going to be, no matter how you don't think you're getting it, you're just not going to give it up because you're a student all the time. I guess that line where the smarter I get, the dumber I feel. Absolutely. You know? And then you can sort of surround yourself with people that can school you and push you and, and get you out of that comfort zone rather than just rest on your laurels, which I spent years just not really pushing it. So I'm, I'm making it yeah. last time. All right, thanks for watching this clip from Appropriate Culture. If you want to watch the full episode, go ahead and check out us at appropriateculture.com. You can also check us out on social media platforms at Appropriate Culture. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.